Hello everyone to help us celebrate Global Maker Day. I'm going to reading going to be reading a story that was the inspiration for our grade 1 class last year to do this amazing Global Maker Day project where they created their own animal crossings using all kinds of materials from cardboard tubes to popsicle sticks to clay. So I am going to read this story and maybe it will inspire you to do your own awesome Animal Crossing project. Make Way for Animals, A World of Wildlife Crossings by Meek Pincus and illustrated by Bao Lu. The road is a visitor. This is the philosophy of the People's Way Wildlife Crossings team, Flathead Indian Reservation, Montana, United States. Hilversum, Netherlands. European badgers, forest foragers, mischievous pack animals. They'd wandered these woodlands since the days of woolly mammoths seeking food and shelter. Then the roads came, blocking their way. How could the badgers find meals in homes now? Omaru, New Zealand. Little blue fairy penguins, dynamic divers, puniest penguins on the planet. They'd swum this small stretch of sea for thousands of years, gliding ashore to burrow, nest, and molt. Then the roads came, blocking their way. How could the penguins make their nests now? Christmas Island, Indian Ocean. Red crabs, claw clickers, millions migrating together. They trekked from forest to coast for generations to release their eggs in the sea. Then the roads came blocking their way. How could the crabs get their eggs to the ocean now? Nanyuki, Kenya. African elephants, continent crossers, world's largest land animals. They rumbled through here since ancient times, searching for mates and freshwater sources. Then the roads came, blocking their way. How could the elephants find mates in drinking water now? Around the world, city highways and country roads have cut through natural spaces. Cars and trucks have caused tragic crash crashes land lots of roadkill and lots of roadkill wild animals have lost safe access to what they need to survive in some of these places people have asked how can we help wild animals when our roads block the way and they've come up with solutions in the netherlands bridges for the badgers the Netherlands 600 animal bridges saved the European badgers from extinction and helped bison, elk, wild boar, and other critters as well. In New Zealand, a pipeline for the penguins. Little blue fairy penguins coast ashore in groups called rafts from a few to a hundred at a time, then cross through this pipeline to get to their nests. On Christmas Island, crossings for the crabs. Each year when the moon signals migration time, 40 million crabs follow a human-made maze and 36 crossings that lead them safely to the sea. In Kenya, an underpass for the elephants. This underpass reconnects wild land for 7,000 elephants whose natural instinct is to travel 30 miles or 48 kilometers a day. These solutions have a name, wildlife crossings. On six of the seven continents and in 43 of the 50 US states, Wildlife crossings provide safe routes around roads for all kinds of creatures. Some wildlife crossings help animals cross beneath the roads. Here's a detour for deer in Canada. And I'm sure the people who live in Ottawa watching this may have noticed those in Gatineau Park. 
The 44 wildlife crossings in Banff, Canada have greatly reduced car crashes with deer, moose, and caribou, saving many animal and human lives. Ten a secret tunnel for spotted salamanders in Massachusetts. Ten U.S. states have special programs to create tunnels like this for amphibians, including salamanders, newts, frogs, and toads, so they can safely bypass roads. Some wildlife crossings help animals cross above the roads. A rope bridge for ringtail possums in Australia. Mother possums with baby joeys in their pouches use this rope bridge to stay away from roads. Then later, they teach their joeys to use it as well. A natural canopy for night monkeys in Peru. Kinkajou squirrels and dwarf porcupines also cross this tree bridge to avoid oil pipelines that divide their rainforest habitat. Some wildlife crossings even help animals cross barriers in the water. Here's a ladder for leaping fish in Japan. This fish ladder was built 30 years ago to help endangered Ryukyu Ayu fish scale a human-made dam and continue their natural path upstream. And some wildlife crossings help animals cross through the sky. A passageway for pollinators in Norway. This world's first bee highway provides rooftop structures with food and shelter to keep bees flying safely above the city. It takes all kinds of people to bring animal overpasses and underpasses to life. Activists and architects, fundraisers and field researchers, civil engineers and scientists, local leaders and construction crews. They dream up these passageways and do the work to make them happen. Thanks to wildlife crossings, badgers can find food, penguins can make nests, crabs can release eggs, elephants can meet mates. Creatures large and small across the globe can survive. When planning new roads, people must say, make way for animals, and then we must create the way. And here are some photos of actual animal wild, wildlife crossing. So this one is in Germany being built. You can see it's under construction. This one here is in Washington State, and it keeps squirrels safe. It's called the Nutty Narrows Bridge. This one is in Montana. And this one is in Banff National Park here in Canada. They're just so amazing. I love this book. So I highly recommend you guys tackle the very cool project of creating and inventing your own wildlife crossing at home or in the classroom and see what kind of cool designs you can think up. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.